This is one of just many ways in Photoshop CS3 to remove a background from an image. Left click on File, open up the folder that has the image in, we want Image, image 2, we'll highlight that and we'll import it by pressing Open. We'll import it onto the stage. Right, the next thing we do, we need to make a layer out of the background of the uh, image we've imported. So I'm going to put the mouse on the highlighted part of the uh, locked background here, double cl left click it and we're going to make it into layer 0, we'll leave that as it is, layer 0 and we'll click OK. Now we need this to be a little bit larger so we can see what we're doing so I'm coming up to the uh, zoom control here, little slider, I'm going to left click it and just bring it over to the right now I'm going to use the quick cut selection tool here in the palette so I'm going to left click on that we make sure that the little black square is against quick selection tool uh, we can alter the size of the little cursor here if we wish by going to the brush control I left click that the little box drops down and I can left click on the slider and we can increase the brush to whatever size we want that's a little bit too big for what we're doing so I'll come back over here and drag it back to the left and we'll have it uh, somewhere about number three and now I'm going to the top left hand corner with the little cursor in the top left hand corner I'm going to left click on the key on the mouse and while holding it down I'm going to drag down slowly on the uh, part of the background you can see little running ants are jumping and attaching themselves to the image that we want to cut out from this blue background. I've released the uh, left uh, button on the mouse. I'm now going back up to the top of the left hand uh, corner. I'm going to press the button again on the mouse and while holding it in I'm going to drag to the right holding the button depressed on the mouse dragging it round nice and slowly and you can see the little running ants have jumped. I've released the key on the mouse, I've jumped and attach themselves to the image we want to remove from this blue background. There are certain parts here that we need to touch up so what we'll do now we will just increase the size again a little bit with we can see that the neck on the guitar here um, isn't quite right we want the little running ants on the outside of the black line so what we will do we will while we're inside when we're trying to push the ants back out from inside the image we hold the ALT key on the keyboard we press that in and hold it in and you'll see a minus will appear on the little cursor if I just let go of it it goes to plus and it fills this bit in here so I'm going to hold the left ALT key in while holding it in I'll press the left button on the mouse and holding the button on the mouse in at the same time as the old button and just nudge the little crawling ants back to the outside of the black line on this little penguin that we're trying to cut out. You, now we're having a look at the figure these little running ants want to be a little bit further out on the black line so again holding the alt button on the keyboard in and now pressing the left key on the mouse and just nudging slowly the little running ants just pushing them out I've released both the alt on the uh, keyboard and the mouse right so we go all the way around the photograph looking to make sure the little running ants are on the outside of the black bit right now going round we've been pushing those out so they're on the outside of the black bit now down here on the foot we have the little marching ants are on this little black bit here now we want to push them out so while we're still inside the image that we want to cut out I'm going to have to hold the ALT button in holding the ALT button in and now pressing the left button on the mouse just pushing those out gently so they go back out to the outside of the the foot like so now you'll see up here by the the, uh, the the tube a bit this blue bit here hasn't been filled in so I'm going to push those in we don't push because we're outside the image here we don't hold the alt button in so I'm just going to push it in with the mouse 
left button just pushed in like so as you can see it's took a bit of the guitar bit out so I'm back inside the image now so I hold the alt button in left click the mouse and just while they're both held in the alt button held down and the mouse just knocking them like that like so that doesn't look too bad right we're going back to the zoom control to reduce the size of the image back to a down about there right, now we're going to remove the blue background and we do that by on the keyboard pressing the delete button right we press the delete button on the keyboard and that's removed the black uh, the blue background what we do now we go to the top of the toolbar and we go to the select button we highlight that left click it and I want now to come down to inverse highlight inverse and left click so we've now inversed it what we can do now is go to the refine edges at the top of the toolbar here we can left click that and that will now show us the image that we've cut out from the blue background and this is how it will look um, now it's been cut out we can on this refine edge box here uh, we have different color little boxes here if I just press this end one here the left it's standard that puts it back to the opaque background here with the little running ants around it the red one and we've got the black one which actually will show us um, how it's been cut out now the little bits of white round here they will be still the blue background so what we can do now is on the contract and expand we have a little lever here if I left click on that and if I bring it to the left you'll see the it's turned to black if I go back to the right it's turned to white so we really want it to be sort of about zero the default setting works fine actually zero that's not too bad there we can go on to the white and that will that's how the figure will look now it's been cut out as you can see if I press on this uh, the blue one the standard one you can see the little uh, running ants here and if I actually do drag it to the right you can see the ants have now come away from the 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 black line so there'll be parts of the blue background still showing through and if I drag it to the left which is minus it brings it in so it's inside the black line so really as I said we want it on the the zero which is the default setting and that should work fine like that and just press OK now all we have to do now is save the image to a file so we'll go over here and we'll press file and now we're going to go save as highlight save as left click and uh, we're going to save it as a Photoshop PSD that's quite important so name the image that you want to save so we're going to put penguin cutout and save. The next tutorial in this series will be how to place the image we've just cut out onto a new background.